Welcome everyone. Today we have a dot underlog game which will try all the three stars that are available. <laughs> That's been upgraded. So if you know the Venomancer has an upgrade with the three second cooldown and also the magic resistance for his things. Oh basically not his things, but rather his little words. Tusk gets a slow with a punch, Ogre gets bloodlust and multicast as well. So we'll have to try some of that. This will be pretty interesting. So if you didn't know with Ogre's multicast, he's got a chance of casting multi times and is 75% casting two targets. <laughs> hey there Gastro, welcome buddy. Hey there Snack Shop. Good afternoon my friends. So I'm not sure which path I want to go. <laughs> Barada could be fine though. Three star Barada they ignites people. So if you didn't know the last update actually buffed some of the three stars, nothing too major but it's an interesting one. <laughs> hey there Rohit, welcome buddy. So I really want to see how many of the three stars I can make and how do I go from there. Thank you, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Ooh, blood bond. Well, that's not how I'm trying it. <laughs> Let's try blood bond. So thank you so much, Chubby3890 for the sub, buddy. Thank you for the two months, my friend. Thank you so much. So we're still trying to go for the upgraded three stars. I'm still not sure how many of those I can get, but there's quite a few. By the ogre. Uh, roll ones. So those are not upgraded three stars. I can buy the warlock. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to approach, and this will be an interesting one. So three stars are bait now. They probably are bait. <laughs> What we're playing today, so what we're playing today is we're gonna play a few casual games just for fun and Then we'll go for some ranked games. So I'm gonna work with new update, especially with Natural's Profit. Okay, sounds great, Gastro. Let's try that. Let's try Summoners and let's try Summoner with Ogre Magi. So that means I'm gonna keep Gano. I'll keep the Shadow Shaman. Let me see if we can get a 3-star Bat Rider. So Ogre will buff multiple units if we get him to 3-star. Hey there, DMFU. Welcome, buddy. Morning from Denmark. Thank you for joining me. So, hmm. Kind of want to sell something for gold, though. Oof, so awkward. Uh, don't need those. I drawed with someone. Damn. <laughs> he sold everything and I drawed with him. That's not good. I don't want to sell Ogre because I'm here for the three stars. But if I don't sell Ogre, I have to sell the Venom for the 10 gold. I feel it's worth it because I would like to get more Venom. At the same time, I want to free some Venom too, so that might not be that great. We shall see. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. So let's try Summoners with Ogre Major. Summoners with Ogre Major and the Trim Protector will give us the Brutes. And I don't think I go for four Brutes, two is enough, and we also have the Ogre Cap for a bit of boost. So likely Savage Summoners and Brutes with Ogre Major. We'll try to get a lot of them to 3-star. I hope it's not going to be needed. I don't know about Task Walking by him for now. Baron, yes. Arc Warden, yes. Interesting. So I've been trying to catch the stream for a week. I don't think his camera is accurate. Yes, sorry about that, buddy. Yes, I haven't been able to stream regularly for the past two weeks now. Just because of a few things in real life and just couldn't get my schedules up. And really sorry about that. Been trying to stream at least once every two days, and I'm trying to keep with that. I hope in the future, maybe in a week or two, I can get the schedules back up and we can have more regular stream. Really sorry about it. So the time at the moment is not correct. Uh, he won the first round, then he decided to go for losing streak. So there's two losing streak. I'm really hoping to say, get some good two stars. Because with the 1-star units, we're not going to do very well with at this kind of startup. Summoners, Longdrud, Firin, and then because we're going for Trend, might as well go for more Brutes. I'm oh, sorry, more, not more Brutes, more Druids. Let's take the pike. Probably going to be very handy. So let's go for Shadow Shaman. Oh, actually, we can go for Lycan. I don't need the Arc Warden, right? Yeah, I don't need the Arc Warden. I can go for Lycan, I can go for Veno. So many summons to go from. I want to see if I can get a 3-star bear rider. Um, Venomancer will probably go for that. 
Mr. Warlock is not going to be major, he's just here to be sacrificed if we go for the plus buns. Actually, I don't even know if this kills anything. <laughs> I don't think it kills anything. I just had him done. So let's buy him for now. Let's buy the Venom. Go for four summons. Yeah, that August won't be able to kill anything. So Jastro says, finish the game. I'm summoners on backline of train. It's a major game changer. Yeah, the the trains, backline trains. I want to see how that works. Be a pretty interesting one. Because the trains will be taunting the backline and they don't have to run around. They can do a bit of damage. Be interesting. Nezofurion. Oh my, that's sells something we don't need. Probably Bat Rider, probably Tusk. I'll buy the Furion out there. I don't think we'll win here. But this might allow us to get some kills. I don't think this does anything. Let's see if this does double bluff on. I don't think so. Because it's just add lines. This might not end up too well though. <laughs> just so you guys know. This is definitely a troll summoning strat. That's wants three stars, which is very greedy. So yeah, it didn't get the double damage, by the way. We kill one, we kill two, perfect. I'm happy. I almost got three. Uh don't need this. Don't need the Mr. Warlock at all. Hey there, gems no fun. So going for four synergies with four units. Savage summon druid Hamodios. Hmm. I mean <coughs> I could try that actually. But it might be a little more difficult, to be honest. Stand aside. Uh, Basica, I'll take him. Ah, I should have left up then road, probably. So. I'm thinking of just going with something that's more simple. Maybe not the Primordials, just with the Savage and Summons and get the Brutes going. <laughs> hey there, Vesman. Good to see you, buddy. How are you today? Bash, bash, bash. <laughs> Ogre smack. Yeah, the Ogre Bloodlust might not be too strong, to be honest. But let's see how we go. Look at this ogre go! <laughs> Bash 2! Ah, oh, he's gonna die to task. <laughs> Warrior's punched. Yeah, we're gonna get the 3 staff fury for sure, like this. And since we're going for 4 druids, the Magnus non druid, plus the fury, and also. what you call it? Also, trained will be the way to go. I'm good, Valkan, buddy. It's in the afternoon for me now, and after the stream, I'll prepare some. Prepare something as well. Let's level up first, then we use the free roll. Uh, don't need any of that, right? Yep, Shadow Shaman's good. Could use that. Let's see how we go. I don't think I win, but there's a small chance we'll just win. Let's hope not. <laughs> The fact is we have a lot of blood on units that might help us to win. Can I revive one? Oh no, we're gonna win. <laughs> we're too strong. <laughs> no, that's not the plan. <sighs> Damn, too much damage. But that's okay. Oh, do I lose? The tiny friends? Tiny friends? Tiny friends? No, tiny friends did not do it. <laughs> hey there, Clark. Good to see you. I wanted to get a losing streak, to be honest. I have a lot of HP. Uh, extra burst from the majors. Yeah, I'll try that next time. Right now it's hard to balance. The goal is to actually get some three stars. Funny enough. Ah, thank God. Probably thank God. Just so we have a tanky body. I want to roll for the three stars. That's what we're doing. I need to find the best level to roll. Probably level seven, because we don't need any any students. Uh, don't need the enigma. Yeah, level 7 gave us pretty decent long jewel rate as well. I think we can chill for now. But once I get the Blastic King, we should be stronger. Because I had the Ogre Cap, I can kind of balance with that. Thank you so much for the cheers, buddy. I think they have the games. Thank you so much for the 500 cheers. No worries about your stream schedule. Life happens. I keep bouncing between BB1 and BB4. It feels like most games, everyone is in a mad rush to level 8. That's right. Because it gives them much boost of, I guess, strength and chance to get a good unit. 
that's the biggest factor. Oh, look at this ogre. <laughs> Let me finish my suggestion. Oh, look at this ogre. <laughs> it's a big ogre. So, I am more relaxed with leveling, but it depends on the strength. I'll be posting more high rank games, and you can see that I do rush leveling a little bit, and I tend to not keep the maximum economy. And I think that's a really good, good way to do it. Uh, let's get okay, NSX because well, we have summons. So I will show you the rank games we'll be posting likely, you know, in the next few days. And in those rank games, you can see that we actually are pushing for quicker levels just for the additional units and if we have a strength on the board. Let's do this. Should be alright. I want the Venom to be in the back. I want the Blast Seeker to be in the back. So he runs a little slower to the enemy. Let's get the Blast Seeker. What kind of light can do? Going for a summoner strategy with three stats. Oh, it's gonna be a hard one, but it's a really fun one if we can make it work. <coughs> we'll start rolling at level seven or eight. Like eight may be better. Why are you starting your Mad Talks and what are the topics? Hey there, the episode with the Mac Talks, I think I've just the I had a discussion with my friend. With those talks, I need to get my life, like I guess, things sorted. So when I'm answering questions or we're talking about like real life problems, I'm in a much more calm state. Right now, it's a little chaotic in my life and I haven't had things sorted. I don't want to just be kind of. So you see, the part about the Mac Talks is to help people with their life problems and, you know, to share a bit of insights, but I can't do that unless I'm in a calm state of mind. I'm trying to balance myself to that as well. So that's the kind of mental part I'm trying to work through. Hey there, Zeke, or comedy. I tried with some games Hyper Roll after last patch release. It didn't work at all. I'll post the Hyper Roll high rank game with Bloodbound for us. No, Bloodbound, sorry, with uh, Brownies. It's actually pretty good. The high rank, the high rank Hyper Roll that is. Really effective. Hey there, Chubby Bits. Wow, comedy. Yes, I'm doing okay. Thank you so much for joining me. And next round, we can level up again. We're doing okay, actually. Oh, it's a two star power model, isn't it? I, don't, I think we should be okay. Just okay. <laughs> it's getting stacks of poison. Thank you for joining me, everyone. So, yes, we're going for summoning strategy, as you can see. And we're going for all the updated summon units. Oh, the yeah, Oka's here. Oi, 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 big ogre. Mm, let's use ogre. It's oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I get the train. This is our first game for the day, yes. So, Blast Seekers, Hocus, Blood Bonds. We're using the Blood Bonds to be the, I guess, the startup because we got the Blood Bond for the ogre cap. And also, I want the ogre in, so Blood Bond will work eventually in the end. Hey there, people. Welcome, buddy. Thank you for joining me on Twitch. Oh, why is he running around? Does he have blood on? No, he's got the yeah, no blood on. He's got the dead eye. That's why he's running around <laughs> like a Furion. He's a hot hitting Furion. You see the Chaos Knight running like that? You know he's got the the dead eye because <laughs> usually he doesn't change targeting like this. So I'm gonna get the train down. Very nice. Gonna give him the heal. Demon is that tiny power is like paradise that proper ming. <laughs> Lovely. So uh, I don't get much out of the demon, so no, not really. I actually demon ogre. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. You don't see this often, but I think this has a great potential. <laughs> oh my. Uh should we go to level eight? We don't get anything from level eight though, to be honest. We do get higher rates. I mean, 5% higher rates. Do I use anything for the high rank? I don't think so, but we can get Troll Warlord. Yeah, let's go to level 8. If I can afford, I think level 8 is the best time to be rolling for 3 stars. You don't want to go to level 9, because you lose too many rates on the low tier. <clears throat> the train is a 2 star now with the Druids. This Ogre is a demon. Look at his damage. 600. Oh, look at him go. This is the best one, guys. Me smack you die. <laughs> He's so angry. He's sitting for 600 because he's a demon and a blah blah. Oh, 800 there. Look at him go. Oh, 1000. Haha, <laughs> we're smart. <laughs> hey there, Grumit. Well, comedy. You seen the brownie build the road at level 4? Managed to come up boss 2 rank. Oh, lovely. I'll post the high rank games we tried with that. We got even better with the build. I'll post it in a day or two. Very soon. 
Oh, I couldn't see. I mean, I couldn't select off slow <laughs> compared to everybody else. But I want four summons, so likely I couldn't can work. I'll keep the Pad Hunter. I really want to get the four summons and the Savage going, and that's the goal for the mid to late game. But in the early game, the Blood Bomb works wonderfully well. Everyone's a Blood Bomb except Train. In about two rounds, we're gonna up. I stop the Seeker ran all the way to the back. Not bad. <laughs> it's a blink only night. <laughs> so cute. But the big fact is this is Ogre. His base damage is multiplied because it's demons for N6. And the more demons he summons, you know, now she's got two demons, he's hitting for 925. <laughs> Look at the Ogre go. Yes, the if you have a chance, get the three-star Ogre and this Razzle Circlet, this will make Ogre Major beautifully strong. But it's hard to get Ogre going unless you kind of get the bruise and get a few things with him. Oh, the Blood Bond. How far away? Yeah, two rounds we can have up. Oh, uh, hmm, is it worth it? <clears throat> what do I get out of it though? I get a bigger plus seeker. And I get the two star down. I think it's worth it. We'll do that. Put Arco down this side. Or should probably put that on this side. It's one that's getting hooked if there's a patch. And it is two patch. Yeah, the kind of weaker units in the corner, so if patch hooks, he gets hooked. Not the Furion. Furion has the. What you call it? Here he has the Ogre Cap, he's the damage there. Aqua then goes in, he summons. <laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> he got an Aqua then. My Ogre boss though. <laughs> Ogre's gonna hit. Oh, look at this, 1200. <laughs> One bash, Ogre. Look at him go. Okay, level up here. Perfect. What is a level 4 roll build? It's a brownie build. Check out the YouTube for the latest meta brownie combo, and I'll post the hiring games I played with that. It's really powerful. <coughs> okay. And those are not the greatest. Oh, twist that tide. You can't say no to that, right? No, we can't say no to that. Have to take it. <coughs> I'm gonna take it, and I'm happy to lose a bit of economy. That's how big the tide is. Why am I going for Tide? It's likely I'll go for Venom and Tide. Summons do have problem with units just killing us with magic. So this might help us having a bit of the stuns and having a bit of the magic resistance. Magnus better than Trend. He can give Cleave to Ogre. Oh, that's true, but the boot for Ogre is actually not bad for defensive purposes as well, you see. Hey Shav, good to see you buddy. I'll get the Magnus very soon. I don't think I'm going for four boots. I think having Ogre and Train is good enough for now. I'm trying to get the Laundry down. I'm trying to get the Shadow Shaman going. Probably not like him, but I want the summons to. Oh, and there's a boot cap. Oof. <laughs> I want the four boots now. Yeah, with the boot cap, we'll go for four boots. Damn, we're, we're, we're all over the place. <laughs> oh, Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman is good. I want the 3-star Furion. <laughs> yeah, 2-star Tide. I know it's so early, right? Uh, who gets the boot cap though? Shadow Shaman? Shadow Shaman is actually stronger. Let's get the... Let's swap those. <laughs> Shadow Shaman is actually sli slightly stronger. I'm actually number one player. I can't believe it. <laughs> this build is not planned, but the biggest factor is actually the Demon Ogre. This is actually an incredible combo. If you get this going, look at him go. I'm the, trying the three stars after the update. That's what you're seeing here. This is me trying the three stars after update. I want to roll for the three stars with this weird summoning team. Look at this ogre go. Don't kill ogre. Ogre's killing everyone. It's like he goes welcome mode. He's like bing bing bing. It's a big shadow shaman behind him going with a digital deuce. Now, Basic is getting lots of kills. Not bad. Yeah, the next two summons will be Venomancer and Lundruid. Oh, if we don't need the Scaled, we don't need the Venomancer. I don't think there's any majors for Scaled. Yeah, there's not enough majors to justify the Scaled. Lycan could be better here. Trent, yes. I want them as a Brute. Reno. Lundruid. Lifestealer. Doom is a better Brute, simply because 
Doom gave us another demon too. Oh, the good old ogre. I know, Saint. Hey there, Twisted. Good to see you, buddy. I'm having a time with my mate trying to pronounce this, but you want to try it? It's... Pingas Gumini Tamulidu? I'm terrible at pronouncing. I'm the worst at pronouncing. Yeah, I'm having a terrible time at pronouncing as well. Good to see you, buddy. I can't even pronounce no more things properly, to be honest. Check out this demon ogre. It two shots the three star troll, the Joringa. Two shots the Joringa. Bang. Bang, bang. I don't think I can get a savage in. I don't need the damage, maybe. So, sell the magnets for lifestealer. I can buy the lifestealer, to be honest. I can just buy the lifestealer. I wonder if it's worth it. It's probably worth it. Uh, Blastica, I'm gonna sell one. I'm gonna get a life in so I have the brutes. Now the brutes are actually my main force. Not the strongest, but not the weakest. It is the new patch that buffed the three stars. I want to see how many three stars I can get. That's what's happening. Three savage. I kind of want four savages, so Senkin will be the last savage I want. I don't need Aquad anymore. No, I don't need him anymore. Get the Shadow Shaman. I'm going for a 3 star Shadow Shaman, which is very, very strange if you look at it. After after we get everything, we're going to lose the Blood Bonds. One Necro will give Hudders, Warlock, and Healers. Interesting. Uh, you're right. I should have taken the Necro, but I can't feed him unless I remove the, another Blood Bond. It would be a good idea, though. <laughs> yeah, new patch trying to hold is so strong, right? I'll be keep rolling. The goal is to roll for the three stars. I'm doing okay at the moment to justify the rows. The thing is, I don't plan to keep the two Bloodbound units to the end. Oh, perfect. A boot with axe is much better than I've seller. Uh, don't need knife stealer. I uh, don't need that. So, summons, summons. 100, Kyrian will take it. Do I need a Magnus though, I'm wondering? Huh. Magnus will give us a Savage too, we kinda need him. Yeah, so many units to just. Very soon I'll lose the Plastic and the... Actually, I should lose it now, probably. <laughs> I can get the Savage with the Soldier now. Oh, the Fearing got hooked. <laughs> That's okay. As long as the Shadow Shaman survives, he should do more damage. <laughs> okay, it's actually the hidden trump card. With less blood on units, die. We don't do that much damage, but you know, if they don't die, we still do damage, right? <laughs> Axe is a cute one. The, the goal would definitely be three stars here. No, butterfly. Oh, can't really use butterfly that well, though. I could try. Let's roll for it. I'm looking for Vadimir. Self advice is also okay. It's defensive and offensive. Uh, Venom, maybe. X, maybe. Oh gosh. Ah, out of space. Damn. Yeah, it's a quick adjustment, guys. <clears throat> I might be a little weaker here. It's simply because I don't have spot for all the units I want. I'm only too many 3 stars here. So I lost a bunch of blood on. Staff on Perfect? Yeah, Nestor's Perfect will be better on the staff, I agree. So I haven't sorted out my items yet. But you can see the kind of changeovers with things. Oh, Shao, very nice, buddy. 6.2k brownies, lovely, lovely. Yeah, let's give the side to Nestor's Perfect. Hex is already a brute. Rana's got more kills though. Oh, I forgot to buy the ogre. Ah, bring where you at? <laughs> Why didn't you buy the ogre? Okay, got the lone dread. Should have bought that ogre. 
Oof. Bam. <laughs> this gets really awkward. So notice that trying so many 3 sets is actually kind of backfiring because we don't have the bench space. We'll try our best. <laughs> and thanks, Team Process. Welcome, buddy. Really good to see you. It's been a while. How have you been? Hope that you've been doing well. So the tie down there is just because it's just so good. Now the Ogre Major that's not having a sacrifice is not hitting too hard at the moment. But it's kind of realizing after round 20 a single unit can't defeat enemies. It's that we're going for more we're going for more units that's off our lines. So high tier units and units off our lines. All three stars. I still want to get a savage in there. Yeah, Mr. Ogre again, did I? Oh no. <laughs> Oops. But can't be better on Venom. Venom actually have more kills, I believe. Yeah, Venom has more kills than Laundry. So it's 8.2, Laundry has 4. So because they're both ranged, I thought this might work. Yeah, stuck again. I might not go for the 3-star Venom. We also got a scale this way. Magnus found. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Ugh. Ah, I tried to wear one more. Should we go for the star Venno? <laughs> uh, nah, don't worry about three star Venno, right? It just will come fitted. I need to get a level up to get the Magnus in. Then we have all the druids. Hey there, Kea. Welcome, buddy. Yeah, level up, we'll get a Magnus in. <coughs> but the downside of leveling up is we kind of will lose a bit of the rates of rolling for low tier units. But we kind of don't need the low tier units other than the Ethereum. <laughs> Look at this, we're so dominated. <laughs> even without the even without the whole 3-star combo. I want to see the 3-star Furion. So getting the Magnus down will give us 3-star Furion. Look at Axe, holy sh- holy moly. <laughs> Shite. <laughs> Keeps the language. Like, he was just dunking. <laughs> if you know League of Legends, he's like Darius that dunks everyone. <laughs> it's like slam dunked everyone. That laundred, one, fifteen k damage. Yeah, we won't get. The, we want to get ogre. Oof. I don't think I'll fit all the savage anymore. Yeah, I give up on the savage guys. Don't need icon. We we'll give up on the savage. It's just we have to be honest here. We can't have the best of all the worlds. We wanted the brutes. We wanted the tide. We can't have everything. So now we don't go for full savage. We just go for this kind of normal build with a bunch of three stars. Yeah, need to be keep PG. And for me personally, in real life, I don't really use root language as well, unless I get really excited or <laughs> really like emotional. But rarely do I uh, kind of swear. It's just I guess when I was younger, that's how I was taught that in the family. Try three star fearing, not too overwhelming. Let's give it a try. I I kind of want to just level up. Let's just level up. <laughs> yeah, let's just level up. Oh, oh gosh, we're so strong. <laughs> we're taking two players at once. Okay, this give us the savages and give us the everything else. I want Vladimir here. Yes, we got Vladimir. Perfect. Radius is good as well, but Vladimir give us much more, I feel. Axe is gonna take it. Very nice. So now the fear is powerful. It's not ranked, my friend. It's just to test three stars if we can. We couldn't find out the three star though. Excuse me, guys. Coughing a little bit. Let me get some water. Tomb will be the choice with summoners, yes, but the tomb doesn't revive summon units, I believe. And at the same time, I don't think we need that many tank. The tomb usually is used as a tank. The venom may just give us so much stats overall. The armor, the damage, and now the Furion stuck. Oops. <laughs> I need to change the positioning. Furion shouldn't be stuck like this. But even though he's stuck, if he's 3 star, he'll be summoning trains in the back line. <laughs> he's a summoner. He doesn't do anything, he just summons. Look at him. Look at the Golem. Golem's doing tons of damage, and Archer does a lot more damage because they summon units. <laughs> thank you so much, Dustin. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the axe is so satisfying. I know, it's like a bang. Bang! <laughs> Slam dunks them, right? I'm going for 3 stars. The last unit we can get is a Troll Wallot. I don't need to roll, but they will be dying very soon. I don't think I'll make to the 3 star anymore. 
unfortunate. I was trying to do too many good things with balancing. I got the Tide Hunter, I got the Axe, I got the Brutes, I got too many good synergies. I actually start to win instead of getting 3 stars. But I think we'll be able to see the 3 star Fearing very soon. That's something we'll look at, and this shows you how strong the Demon Ogre is. Uh, 6 Savage power over 4 Brutes better? It depends what you need. For now, the Brutes were better for us because they're so powerful against many units. Other units we're hitting just does no damage to us. So look at Slada, he's minusing 81, Patrick's minus 40, it does no damage to us. And our unit does tremendous damage. His <laughs> Ogre by himself does quite a bit of damage too. And the Doom was also another choice for the Brutes because Doom and Ogre just gives him more demon. But the Axe is very incredible, look at this Axe chop, <laughs> mid chop chop. Axe just chops him off. Okay, it might be the last fight after this one. <laughs> Fearing still stuck? Okay, we'll move and the 6, get Fearing out of the way. Let's do that. <laughs> they style. If we get a Troll Wallard, I'm happy to. Ooh, Doom's so good. Can we find. Oh gosh, we might get a 3 that tight on there. Shadow Shaman? Probably much deeper now. Hello, German. No okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're close, guys. <laughs> We're so close. I need one more Shadow Shaman. We'll make it. I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, love Rose. I've tried. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope he doesn't die. He shouldn't be dying with 21. Though. He's a strange summoning team. That's not doing a lot of damage. That's not good. Axe is an incredible tank here. Oh no. <laughs> Please live on. No, don't, don't die to the axe. No, he's dead. No. <laughs> so close. Oh gosh, we're summoning so many things. Please don't die. Oh yes, he didn't die. One more try, one more try. We'll sell the ogres, because they're not too close. we we'll sell the Venom and Fury. We just want to roll for the Sam Shadow Shaman now. The final piece will be the Troll Wallet. <laughs> oh, we found it. Oh, jeez. This is going to be beautiful. I'm going to remove the Tide. Going to give Axis. And this is going to go to him. So why did I remove the Tide? I don't have any attack speed. It just, I want to show you guys the whole concept. <laughs> so the whole concept is to work with Troll Wallot for the more damage. Let's see how we go. <laughs> see if you can come back with me. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I never got the 3, oh, got the three star Shadow Shaman. No. I never got the 3 star Fury and I didn't focus on it. Let's go to Shadow Shaman. This side Shadow Shaman is gonna Chicken! Oh he's he circled them and chicken them. It's like the Delta One Shadow Shaman Hex Ward. <laughs> you hex a unit or oh, you cyclone one, then you chicken them. It's so beautiful. Shadow Shaman won't get a second try though. Well played, well played. Well played. <laughs> what a combo. So the tide will definitely be a great piece. You can see how we can go with level 10. This is only made available because we got the brute item. If we didn't get a brute item, we won't be this strong. But if we didn't get the brute item, we'll be having savages, so we'll have more damage. So likewise, there is... I guess there's the benefit of being defensive with tight with the stun and also the scaled, offensive with more savages. You can see that we kind of adjusted very nicely with the units we found, and the goal was to look for the three stars that are upgraded by the game. The one with Shadow Shaman, Ogre Major, and followed by Venomancer. Managed to f actually fear him as well. The fear will come from the druids. Ogre is actually being a much more valuable unit with the, the demon item, with the Rasu, and also Ogre was our star in the early game. You saw how strong it is with Ogre Cap and a bunch of the Bloodbond. Ogre was hitting for 1.2k before round 10, and he was one smack everyone. And with that power up, we have economy, we have HP, and we were unstoppable once we got the whole team going. X was slam dunking everyone as well. So this is a very fun and interesting build. I'm not sure how far we can go with red games, but some of the concepts here can definitely work very far. Because if you look at the Ogre and the Rasu, if you have the Ogre cap here with enough blood bond, he becomes a monster at 2 star. And then the key is to transition. Don't stay on it. Always transition out of it with the higher tier units here with one for Laundred and X. And also look for items that give the whole team benefits, look for items that give you synergies. Mana was hitting for a lot harder, because likely he's close to 30 kills or even more. 
And some of the concepts is also great because we had Shadow Shaman, we're looking for the Troll Warlord in the late game, and that's something you should look for. It's a two star high tier units. The tier four, like Morana, Tide Hunter, you know, tier five, Sand Kings, Medusas are really good as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. So that's a three star Shadow Shaman, and we had a little more as 